welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to install plugins on your 1.13.1 bucket server now I'm assuming you've already got your bucket server set up and you can see how to do that at the eye at the top of the screen right up there if you go up there it'll show you everything you need to do step by step by step to get your bucket server up and running but before we get into this video it is brought to you by game servers go to the breakdown.xyz slash MC server to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected bucket server for just three dollars per month we personally use them and absolutely love them again that is the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash mc server nevertheless let's go ahead and jump on into installing bucket plugins so as you can see here we do have our bucket server set up but before we can install plugins we need to download some so if we come up here and in the description down below you will find two links to where you can find plugins the first one is the bucket plugins right this is on bucket.org this has all of the 1.13 updates bucket plugins you may have to come over here and select game version and then sort to 1.13 to be able to find those anything that works for 1.13 is also going to work for 1.13.1 from there we need to also look at this you can also find plugins over here but it's a lot harder to make sure everything is up to date right this is the spigot plugins and any spigot plugins work on bucket and any bucket plugins work on spigot so both of them are great places to find plugins here for example, I mean, you know, you can just randomly click on something and see this is 1.12.2, right? This doesn't, that's not 1.13, and there's no way to sort correctly to be able to find that. Meanwhile, Visual Fixer is, in fact, 1.13 compatible. That's why I personally like Bucket better here, because it has, you know, an easily sortable game version and all that stuff. But today, we're going to be installing World Edit, and we're also going to be installing World Guard and 1.13, because why not? So let's go ahead and download both of these plugins. World Guard will allow us to protect our spawn, and it's required to have World Edit, so since we're installing World Edit, we might as well get this one as well. Once we're here, we can click on file and the reason we do that is just to make sure that in fact that is for 1.13 and as you can see there it is we can click on the download file button there and it will download in the bottom left as long as this says dot jar at the end we can go ahead and keep the file it's been downloaded by a thousand people but legacy versions of this as you can see one of which was downloaded 1.3 million times so we're good there we also need to download world edit here again click on file just to make sure we are getting the 1.13 version and we are go ahead and click on the download file button there and we again want to keep it as long as it says dot jar at the end which it does we can keep that and it's got 7100 downloads i promise it's 100 safe to keep now if we minimize our browser on our desktop here we have two plugins if these aren't on your desktop don't freak out hit the uh, windows button in the top left of my screen it's probably in the bottom left of your screen right see that click on that windows button and then just search downloads you will have a downloads folder that looks like this right here open that and most likely these are in your downloads folder drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. By the way, we're using World Edit here, but this is the exact same for any spigot plugin out there or any bucket plugin out there. Either one will work on this server, so let's go ahead and get these installed. And what we want to do is open up our bucket server here, find the plugins folder right there, see that, double click on that, and then go ahead and drag and drop both the World Edit and World Guard plugins in there, and then whatever plugins you have, if you have holographic displays or, you know, essentials, whatever it is, go ahead and drag it into these plugin folder here. Now we just want to go ahead and double click on our run file there, and it will in fact start our server up with these plugins installed. Just to prove it to you, I am going to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.13, but first let's talk about my server, which is a 1.13.1 great protected survival server. We're rolling out Sky block soon you guys will love it come play on it play.breakdowncraft.com all the information is in the description down below it is a great 24 hour ddos protected server anytime you want to come play you can play the server will be online and uh, it'll be absolutely awesome see we just join on in here i mean look at this look at this spawn look at it look how awesome that is absolutely love it and uh, can't wait to see you guys on the server Join us on Discord, all that stuff, all of which is linked in the description down below. But nonetheless, our server over here is getting set up, and as you can see, World Guard is loading up. Every plugin you add is going to take more RAM from your server, so keep that in mind. In addition to that, it is going to take longer for your server to set up. But eventually, you can see it does say done there, and we want to go ahead and direct connect. I'm just going to direct to connect to my IPv4 address because that's the simple one. Once we join on in here, we can see that I died, but that's unrelated. But once we respawn, we can do slash slash one, and it will in fact give us the world edit one there. 
And then let's say we wait, want to click there and then come over here. We can do slash slash cut and cut that out. Say we want to test world guard, just protect this as our spawn. We can do slash region define spawn, right like so. And now the region spawn has been set. We could do slash region flag. I think, uh, let's see, mob dash spawning. Is that what it is? Or is it underscore um, boss, right? So we can do that and... There we go. Oh, sorry. No region of mob spawning could be found. Yes, we need to do spawn, and there we go. Now I think that is set, or it at least aired out and gave us all of the different region flags. Yeah, it did. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. So you can see all of those there, and uh, actually, there we go. Now mobs won't spawn in this. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of walks you through. It took me a second, but if you were to do that now um, It's not going to spawn any mobs in the spawn region that we defined and we can actually come over here and deop ourselves Right just real quick and you'll be able to see that in fact We can't break any blocks in this region, right? It's not gonna let us you can't break blocks here Ah, if we're opt you can so keep that in mind, but there you guys have it That is how you can set up plugins in buckets for 1.13.1. Obviously, if you want to change any configurations on those plugins, come back over here to your bucket server file, go into plugins, and then each plugin will have all of this. And you can then edit these config files. If we go in here, for example, with World Edit, you can right click on it. I have Notepad. I'll go ahead and link that in the description as well, just because that's the best way to edit config files. And then you can edit with Notepad. And as long as it shows up on your screen, which mine has not, it's right down here in the corner, you can edit all of the stuff that comes with uh, comes with Note or comes with World Edit, right? You can change all that. So awesome stuff there. That's how you can install plugins. Just drop them in your plugins folder. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If it helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been the breakdown, and I'm out, guys. Peace.